Hi, it's Simon. The desk setup video. It's its own niche on YouTube these days, or as my friend called it yesterday, desk tube. <laughs> but beyond finding the most tricked out keyboard or perfectly specced monitor, I've been looking into some beautifully designed accessories that truly merge form and function to take your productive desk setup to the next level. These are my picks for beautifully designed desk accessories that make your life better. That's the power of great design after all, form and function coming together in perfect harmony. You can find links to all the productive tech in the description below and for the regulars here, yes, of course. I'm gonna get myself a proper desk chair soon. I'm not a complete lunatic. So first up, I've been talking with the amazing folks at Orbit Key recently, and they sent me over these, the Orbit Key Nest and their flagship desk mat. And well, they easily make the list for well-designed minimal desk accessories. Orbit Key are known for their everyday carry items like key holder and wallet solutions, but these products really caught my eye. So this Nest is a great all-in-one solution for storing your essentials both working from home and on the go. And as someone who values keeping things minimal, I love the fact that this now doubles as my cable and accessories holder when I'm traveling and then a wireless charging desk tidy at home. Cool, the lid doubles as a charger using the included USB-C braided cable and these Velcro dividers can be moved to hold what you want in the right place. The first rule of organization right there, everything has a home. It comes in this stone gray or black and is super well made and perfect for my headphones, cables and hard drives. Oh, and there's a nice little spot to put my Apple Pencil when I'm on the go. So to go with it, this is their desk mat, but it's more than just a desk mat. This one makes the list for a great combination of form and function. The leather top mat sits on a felt base to protect your desk and offers a smooth mouth surface or for writing on, but you can then also lift this top layer as a handy little document holder, little storage for documents between them. And in my small space setup, this has been great as it keeps a spot for keeping my notes that I'm working on. The mat also has this this magnetic tidy for stationery. Your Apple Pencil is held there really nicely. But the best thing, a magnetic cable holder. Finally, someone's worked out a way to organize cables to be easy within reach when you want them and stay where you want them when you're not using them. No more desk diving for the iPad charger. Better creating viewers, in fact, can check out Orbit Key via my special link that they've sent me and a code BETTER10 for a discount. So get stuck in, I'm a big fan. Next up, lighting, and BenQ sent this, their new screen bar halo, a beautifully designed computer monitor light that fits perfectly with a minimal Mac or work from home setup. Light bars are a great investment for looking after your eyes by reducing fatigue and eye strain for long sessions, particularly ones that will light behind the monitor as well as down onto the desk. This one, does both. But what makes BenQ's latest offering particularly attractive though is the adaptive ambient light sensor and that wireless space gray hockey puck that controls it. I gotta say, this is one of the most satisfying and well-designed pieces of tech that I've seen for a while. The halo will mount to almost any monitor. Of course, it's a great fit to my BenQ PD lineup monitor. You can check that out in my other desk setup video that I'll link below. You wake up the controller by hovering your hand over it. You can set brightness, temperature, and even your favorite setting for the lights on the puck. I love that it's wireless and I also love that if you plug it into your monitor using a USB port in the monitor, it will automatically turn on when you wake up your computer and I've really noticed the benefits from both long screen sessions and just doing other work on my desk. Well, a productive desk setup design is not just about good looking stuff. It's about managing the ugly but important stuff at the same time. And well, that usually means cables. Yes, I have a lot of cables, and yes, they are still badly organized. Worst shot in the video. But let's face it, good cable management is key to a well-designed desk setup. And if you are like me and work from home as well as on the go, making your desk setup a one cable plug and play interface for a laptop is a game changer and really essential. Here's how I'm doing it. A dock, a good monitor, and a place to hide the mess. So first, get yourself a good cable tray to get things out of sight. My desk is part of String's awesome modular shelving system. I mean, it's not for everyone, it's quite contained, but the shelving system's really worth thinking about in terms of pairing it with another desk. But what I did do is I made sure to include a metal tray from the system to sit under the table, and I've converted this magazine rack holder for my MacBook to sit it nicely out of the way. Pretty cool. It's a 2022 M1 Max, by the way. Check out my video on that if you want to know more about choosing a Mac and why I picked this one. This 
however, has been the real game changer for my setup, a Thunderbolt 3 dock. And Orico sent me this to try, the Orico TB3 S3 multifunctional docking station. So it offers enough ports for my hard drives and a ton of other peripherals, including Thunderbolt 3 input that supports 60 watt power delivery to my MacBook, meaning I can just plug and play and stay charged with one cable. Okay, it would be great if it could do 90 watts like some things are doing, but I find this is enough to keep my 14 inch max chipped Mac running throughout the day. Outputs are plentiful, another Thunderbolt 3 most likely for your monitor, you would want to use that. In terms of USB, there's two USB-C Gen 2s, a few USB-C A ports, Gen 1, Gen 2 and Gen 2.0, I mean there's loads. And of course the usual mini jack SD card reader and LAN port. This dock works fine with my MacBook. The speed is pretty good, they claim up to 40 megabytes per second on the best ports. That said, I'm not sure I was getting that on data transfers all the time. The negatives, well the design, whilst attractive, only really works when stood upright, meaning it limits your options of where you actually might mount it and place it. I would have loved for there to be a flat side so I could mount it under the desk or even just lay it sideways. Oh well, if you don't mind that, an ever so slightly blue tone to the space grey, it's a good bet and works really well. Sure, there are likely faster hubs out there, but this is a solid, great value one for the money. Oh, and man, do Orico make good Thunderbolt 3 cables. This additional cable they sent me is heavy duty and very satisfying, it's worth grabbing two as the cable supplied with the actual dock is super short. Now, if you follow the channel, you'll know I love my iPad. And whilst it's no longer my daily driver, I still use it every day for research, note-taking, creating thumbnails and artworks and so on. So I was super happy to check out these beautifully designed alternatives to Apple's cases and stands from Pitaka. Pit Pitaka? Pitaka, cool company. They sent over the Mags Case 2 and Folio Cover. These guys have a really good eye for subtle, well-designed and well-made pieces of kit. And these are a great option compared to Apple's own designs. Since I'm using my iPad a lot less for typing these days, I decided to ditch the keyboard case and go minimal. Pitaka's Folio Case really does the job well and remains easily to attach and detach using, you guessed it, magnets. Now definitely if you're looking for something like this, I would pair it with the Mag's case as well for a cleaner fit because this just slightly overlaps the edge of the iPad without it, but together they make a really nice system. What's really cool is it's really low profile and super low weight, so you really don't notice it on the iPad when you're using it. If you use an Apple Magic Keyboard or a Folio case, you'll be aware of the lack of protection for your iPad when you remove it from it. So this is a great cover to do just that. That low weight, low profile look means you barely notice it, but it does help protect the iPad. I wish I'd done it earlier, I've got a few chips on mine. And what's really cool is the built-in magnets mean my iPad will still connect to any other cases or stands. And whilst Pitaka also make a magnetic desktop stand for the iPad, I still rate ChargeN Pro's Magflot as the ultimate iPad desk setup item for both form and function. I love this thing, I made a video on it before and I really recommend checking it out. The best thing, it works with all of this stuff too, so I'm really happy. Okay, so we've not talked monitors, keyboards, and to be fair, there are a fair few other bits of work from home tech you might have spotted in this video that you'd like to know more about. So make sure to go and check out my minimal desk setup tour video next for Keychron keys, SanDisk discs, and more productive tech. Desktube is in full force, my friends. I've always wanted to do that.